One of your first mobile home deals could be a home built before 1976 and there's a few things that you're going to want to know about pre-HUD homes before you purchase your home. Yeah, so we want to give you a few things just to keep a heads up for when you're looking to purchase a pre-HUD mobile home. For the best mobile home investing advice, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to be notified of videos we post every week. So many people think that there's absolutely no value in a mobile home that's built before 1976, but honestly, these have been some of our best deals because people just don't know the value of them and they're willing to give them away almost for free. Yeah, but there are some things that you must understand before purchasing pre-HUD homes. Stay tuned. HUD standards. Now HUD is short for Housing and Urban Development. This is an entity put in place by the federal government. Now homes built after 1976, we mainly call those manufactured homes. These homes are still built in a factory but they have certain regulations and tests that they have to adhere to before leaving the factory. And simply put, homes built before 1976 didn't have any of these requirements. There were no standards put in place by HUD. So a lot of the pre-HUD homes are just not as safe as some of the factory built homes nowadays. Yeah, and some of the main factors that affect these testing and standards of HUD are asbestos and lead paint, which are really dangerous for people to live in. Um, and so that's why a lot of states require that the mobile homes are brought up to HUD standards before they are moved around or moved out of place, which can be really expensive so we don't recommend moving any pre-HUD homes. We don't recommend that strategy, but there's still a lot of ways you can still make money with these pre-HUD 1976 mobile homes as long as they're safe. So the second factor you're gonna wanna be aware of is the safety of the home. And again, we talked about HUD standards. Um, we wanna make sure that these homes don't have asbestos or lead paint because it's really dangerous for families to live in. But you also wanna check the understructure of the home. A lot of times these older mobile homes, the subfloor of it was actually built with particle board, which is not the best for water. It's not the best to maintain long-term. Sometimes they start falling apart um, and you have to replace that subfloor with something a little bit more sturdy that's gonna last longer. For sure, and it's the same thing with the roofs. A lot of the pre-HUD homes were built with metal or foam roofs and over time you just see with a lot of these homes they just start to sag and have a lot of damage to them over the years but we've also seen that pre-HUD homes can be uh, safe and secure and be great deals for buyers as long as they're maintained properly year in and year out. Installation. Now, a lot of pre-HUD homes were built with metal siding. What that means is in hot climates, a lot of these homes are harder to keep cool. And in cold climates, these homes are harder to keep warm. It's because they weren't built with proper insulation like a lot of homes are built today. A lot of them don't even have AC units. They usually have swamp coolers or wall units. Yeah, and so you wanna check, um, especially when it's in a cold client, the furnace. <laughs> because a lot of times if that hasn't been serviced for a while, it's gonna be really hard to heat up that metal siding, that metal home, and that's what buyers care about. So you wanna make sure that you check these different costs because that's what your buyers are gonna care about. They wanna be comfortable yeah. in their new home, and that could be an extra expense for you. is less desirability and yes unfortunately these older mobile homes are not as desirable as those brand new fancy ones so you just have to understand that this could take a little bit longer to sell and that's why you have to price it right because there is an affordable housing crisis people need an affordable safe place to stay and that's what this home can provide for them so there is a demand for them it just may take you a little bit longer to sell it yeah here in our market in Phoenix we find that these pre-HUD homes are in a lot of the older communities. Um, there's not a lot of amenities that the park offers to the buyer, so they just tend to stay on the market a little while longer. But in some other markets out there, these homes sell fast. It's all about making sure that you feel secure, that you're buying a decent investment property, and then your buyer feels good that they're buying a safe and sound home.
So now you know what to look out for whenever you're looking to purchase a pre-HUD mobile home, but this doesn't mean much if you don't know how to find your next deal. That's why we created Trailer Cash for Beginners Checklist. In this free checklist, you'll learn the step-by-step -step process we took to close over 200 mobile home transactions in two and a half years. This free checklist can be downloaded at the link below or at trailercashchecklist.com. join a community of trailer flippers just like you we've started a Facebook community where we share all types of tips and tricks and wins and losses we share it all in that group please join introduce yourself and say hello and as always if this video was helpful be sure to write helpful in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of videos we post every week. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one. Bye.